Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Commander, buckle up. I am so hyped to opening this deck, but before we do that, let's crack an Innistrad Midnight Hunt Booster and check what we got here. Hello everybody, this is Pappy from Pappy Butt Cracks, by the way. Don't mind my cat. My cat is horny kung naririnig niya yung cat ko in the background. What's this ba? Resurrection. Search party captain. That's a rare. Burn down the house. Oh, shh. Oh. Don't mind my cat. My cats are horny. Harvestide Infiltrator, Old Stick Fingers, okay, so at least we have a double rare pack, Obsessive Astronomer, Firmament Sage, Pax Betrayal, Path to the Festival, Festival Crash, uh, and a lovely Full Art Land. Still have a brimstone vandal and a lovely mountain with a signed art card. Okay, so put that aside and then let's go ahead and crack this bad baby. Special thanks and shout out to Honors Ground local game store here in Baguio City for letting us crack this pack. For providing this pack, uh, this pack, letting us crack this box and uh, providing this to us as well. Kotori Pilot a Prodigy. Vehicles you control have crew 2 at the beginning of combat on your turn. Target artifact creature controls, uh, your, you control gains lifelink vigilance until end of turn. Yeah. Shorikai. Shorikai in foil. That's one of the cards that we are looking for in this deck. Driven to win. So, Buckle Up has a vehicle and artifact creature synergy going on right here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this product. Musta pala kayo? How is your day going on, by the way? I hope you had a great day. Tomorrow is... Uh, Friday, so it's FNM time. Okay. So that's a box. That's the cardboard insert. And again, we have some punch outs that you can use as counters or as victory confetti, but of course, we're not going to use that. That is a divider, I guess. Yeah, that's a divider. Ayun. So, yan po yung box. Looking great there. With the uh, Kotori. Si Kotori ba yan? Mm -hmm. Spacer. We got an insert. We're not gonna delve into that since we know that's just going to be describing the product. A uh, life counter. One side goes to 40, and the other side goes to 20. Not bad. And that's the deck. So let's check it out. In demand pala tong deck na to ngayon because a lot of the cards here are new and cannot be opened in the booster, in booster packs. So these... Uh, Decks are in demand for as of the moment. So if you have not bought them, I suggest you buy them ASAP. So there you go. That's a Foil Kotori Pilot Prodigy.
And one of the, the meat and potatoes of this deck is Shorikai Genesis Engine. So Shorikai has uh, pay one colorless or pay one generic. Tap Shorikai, draw two cards, then discard a card. And Shorikai is going to create a 1-1 one, one colorless pilot creature token. With this creature cruise vehicles as though its power were two or greater. Okay, so that's crew eight. And one of the uh, best features of Shorikai is Shorikai can become your commander. So it be in, you can put this as your commander and it evades a lot of removal. It evades a lot of removal, especially for creature removal and for board sweepers. Okay, since it is a non-creature artifact card on the battlefield. So yan yung maganda kay Shorikai. So we have an Imperial Recovery Unit, we have a Mobilizer Mech, so that, those are vehicles by the way. Another vehicle, we have Prodigy's Prototype, we have a Pilot, Aeronaut Admiral, vehicles you control have flying, ooh nice. Armed and Armored, vehicles you control become artifact creatures until end of turn. Here's a removal, crush contraband, exile target artifact, exile target enchantment. So it's four to cast instant. <clears throat> Dispatch is tap target creature. If you control three or more artifacts, exile that creature. So that's a uh, a metal craft swords to plowshares, I guess, or a path to exile. Generous gift, destroy target permanent. Controller creates a 3-3 green elephant. Mearsmith. Swords to plowshares. Wow. Check that art. Check out that art. That's lovely. Guapo nito art nito. Exile target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. Most people don't like putting swords to plowshares these days sa kanila mga decks kasi binibigyan mo daw na advantage your opponent. But I think it's still a decent removal spell especially for the cost for the one white mana cost no? ethereum sculptor to make your artifact spells cost uh, one less to cast pampamura reality shift exile target creature controller manifests 2-2 two -two creature uh, from the top of their library riddlesmith Cast an artifact spell, you draw a card. If you do, discard. Thoughtcast, draw two. Vidal can engineer. Add two mana of any one color. Uh, okay. Mana dork for artifact spells. Whirler Rogue, some standard staple before. Nung, kwan, nung standard pa ang Kaladesh. Create two one one colorless chapter. Creature tokens, ETB. Tap two artifacts you control. Target creature cannot be blocked. Arcanist's Owl. Either four white or four blue or any combination. Flying. When Arcanist Owl enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact or enchantment card from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. So me built in impulse shaft for artifact or enchantment. Raph, Capuchin, Flash, all your artifact spells or historic spells, artifacts, legendaries, and sagas can be flashed in. Arcane Signet, expensive two mana, <laughs> expensive two mana, uh, mana rock na in demand ngayon kasi short supply. Azorius Signet, also in demand today. Colossal Plow. When Colossal Plow attacks, add 3 white, and you gain 3 life. Oh, nice. Crew 6 nga lang. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana. Oh, very nice. Felwar Stone, Mana Rock, Foundry Inspector, another Pampamura ng spells mo. Gold Mirror, Artifact Mana Dork, Raider's Carve. Shimmer Mirror, you may cast artifact spells as though they had flash. Uy. Okay, ito ah. 
Silvermere, Manorak, Soul Ring, Manorak ulit. Walang kamatay ang Soul Ring. Pero hindi ko alam kung ba't ang taas ng value nito ngayon. Lagi siyang tumata siguro, hinohord. <laughs> aerial Surveyor. Whenever Aerial Surveyor attacks, if defending player controls more lands than you, search your library for a basic planes card. Put it onto the battlefield. So this is one of the cards which are not found in uh, booster packs for Kamigawa. No? So we have a Drum Bellower. Uh, flying, untap all creatures you control during each other player's untap step. So, uh, this is also an expensive card and you know why it's expensive because of that function. Yung nakasulat dun sa, <laughs> dun sa ability niya. Di ba? Imaginein mo sa turn ng opponent mo, mag-aantap yung mga mana dorks mo or yung mga spells, yung mga con mo, di ba? Yung mga creatures mo. For blockers. Di ba? Awesome. Iron Soul Enforcer. Whenever Iron Soul Enforcer or a commander you control attacks, return target artifact card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Isa siyang Reanimator. Organic Extinction, our sweeper for this deck. Improvise siya so your artifacts can help convoke, although that's not the right term. Pero improvise is the convoke. It's similar to convoke. Um, destroy all non-artifact creatures. Wow. Okay ito ah. Now that's nice. Release to memory, graveyard hate, exile target opponent's graveyard. For each creature card exile this way, create a 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature token. Oh, wow. Lakas. This is going in my deck later. Yan. Ang mahal niyan, that's currently $8 as of the posting of this video. Swift Reconfiguration, Flash, Enchant Creature or Vehicle. So, when you enchant the creature, the enchanted creature becomes a vehicle artifact with crew 5. And it loses all other card types. So, magiging, magiging kwan siya, magiging vehicle siya. And uh, it has it has to have crew 5 para magamit mo yung, yung creature na yun. Di ba? So, that's really, really bonkers. <laughs> Access denied. Counter target spell. Create X11 one, one, colorless Thopter artifact creature tokens with flying. Whoa. Cyber Drive Awakener. Flying. Other artifact creatures you control have flying. When Cyber Drive Awakener enters the battlefield until end of turn, each non creature artifact you control becomes artifact creatures with base power toughness 4 4. Whoa. We'll take that any day. Imposter mech, that's one colorless for one blue. You have imposter mech enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature on opponent controls, except it's a vehicle artifact with crew three and loses all other card types. Crew three. <clears throat> this is the most expensive card for the deck, by the way. The Kappa Cannoneer. So it has improvise. It also has Ward 4, no? So Ward 4 is the mechanic introduced in Strixhaven where it's a tax that you have to pay if you are going to target Kappa Cannoneer with a spell. Okay? So uh, if you do not pay that Ward tax, the spell automatically gets countered. So, I don't know. Uh, is it spell or abilities? I might go and check later on. Or you can, you can uh, write it down below. Comment down below uh, if, if you want. Anyway, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Kappa Cannoneer and it can't be blocked this turn. Katsumasa the Animator flying. Until end of turn, target non-creature artifact. Control becomes an artifact creature and gains flying. If it's not a vehicle, it has a base power and toughness 1-1 one, one until end of turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each of up to 3 target non-creature artifacts. Research Thief, Flash Flying. 
Whenever an artifact creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Universal Surveillance improvise draw X cards. Surge Hacker Mech Menace. The Surge Hacker Mech enters the battlefield, deals damage equal to twice the number of vehicles you control to target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. Ooh, good to meet you, my old friend, Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. When Cataclysmic Gear Hulk enters the battlefield, each player chooses an artifact creature and enchantment planeswalker from among the non land permanents they control, then sacrifices the rest. Cataclysm, basically. Cataclysm on a creature. Artifacts you control have shroud as long as you control three or more artifacts. That's the Indomitable Archangel, two colorless and two white. Perihelion 2, that's a legendary artifact vehicle. Flying first strike vigilance whenever Perihelion 2 attacks. Create two 4-4 four, four white angel tokens. Look us! With the first strike vigilance po. Good to see you again, Ram. Whenever you cast an aura equipment or vehicle spell, draw a card. That's uh, one colorless and one white for a legendary creature. Tashar, Ancestor's Apostle. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Emery, Lurker of the Lock. This spell costs 1 colorless to cast for each artifact you control. Enters the battlefield, mill 4 cards. Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast the card this turn. Jace! We have a Mythic Planeswalker in this deck. So we we all know Jace. No, Jace has been here ever since. Since uh, Return to Ravnica Payata, kung maalala ko, no? he's always been there. So, nagamit ko siya sa Standard, nagamit ko siya sa Modern before. Even sa EDH, staple din siya ngayon. So, it's good to see him back. No? Master of Ethereum. Power and toughness are each equal to the number of artifacts you control. Other artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So, it's a Shang Artifact Lord. Grabe. So far, I'm seeing a lot of value in these cards, you know? I'm really seeing a lot of value. Psy Master Thopterist. This is also one staple sa mga artifact decks ngayon ng, ng, ng blue. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless chapter artifact creature token with flying. Sack two artifacts, draw a card. Stop their spine, spine network, hindi na kailangan ipaliwanag yan. That is a staple talaga sa dual commander pag artifact synergy or artifact strategy ang ginagamit mo. Dance of the Mans, return X target artifact. Uh, X target artifact and or non aura enchantment cards with mana value X. If X is 6 or more, those permanents are 4 4 creatures in addition to other types. Hello, Hana! Long time no see, baby girl. Return target. Uh, Hana has the ability of tap 1 colorless, 1 white, 1 blue. Tap, return target artifact enchantment artifact or enchantment card from your gra graveyard to your hand it's nyan pagkon to the battlefield cultivator's caravan yung card na ayaw na ayaw mo mapul sa kaladesh <laughs> noon kasi I, anyway that explains everything <laughs> Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, or enchantment until end of turn. Peace Walker Colossus, so ito na mga vehicles ng Kaladesh era. Another target ve vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Smuggler's Copter, isang modern staple and standard staple ng time niya. Whenever a smuggler's copter attacks or blocks, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. So you you will get to filter the deck. Sky Sovereign, console flagship, money card nung time niya noon. I think umabot pa to ng 30 or 40 dollars, if I remember correctly. Nag-aagawan to ng mga tao noon. 
deals whenever Sky Sovereign enters a battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Crew three. Simulacrum. Basic land tutor. When it dies, draw a card. Card value. Weatherlight. Whenever Weatherlight deals combat damage to a player, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a historic card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest of the bottom of your library in a random order. Weatherlight. Siya yung nandoon sa art ng Vindicate. If uh, maalala nyo, art ng Vindicate. Tapos siya yung, di ko alam, siya ba yung ship ni, kwan? ni Gerard Capassian? I don't know. I may be mistaken. Comment down below kung siya nga. So, we are off to the mana base. We have Exotic Orchard. We have Port Town, our reveal land. Blue-white land. Prairie Stream, Tango land for... For blue-white. Sky Cloud Expanse, Filter land. Spire of Industry, pay one life, and then it becomes add one mana of any color, activate only if you control an artifact. Temple of Enlightenment from the Theros block. Of course, hindi mawawala ang command tower. And we have our planes, and we have your islands. And we have Kotori, Foil Etched Proxy. So, makapal na credit card type PVC card type siya. Na pwede mong gamitin proxy habang nagpinipili itong deck na to if you don't want to use the real card or keep it in your binder where you're playing. So, we have an Angel, Elephant, Elephant, Angel, Mirror, Pilot, Spirit, Mirror, Spirit, Thopter, Spirit, Thopter, Spirit, Thopter, Spirit, Thopter, Spirit, Thopter, Spirit, Thopter, and a hint card. First impressions. Ang ganda ng synergy ng deck na to. Okay? So we have an, a vehicle deck a vehicle deck going on. We also have artifact creatures going on. So, para siyang tribal na rin, ano? So, there's a lot of synergy going on here. And it's focusing on really uh, uh, hitting hard. And, of course, recurring all your artifacts from the graveyard. And making tokens. So, ang, 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 ang dami niyang ginagawa, pero it's all in one synergy and it's that's very nice no it's good to see very nice cards here as well lalo na yung mga nice reprints like you know yung weather light yung sky sovereign smuggler's copter these are all very good cards during their time and i know that these cards are going to be a big help in this deck no uh the reprinting of jace and putting jace in here is also a very very good idea so, good job, Wizards, for putting Planeswalkers into decks like these. No, hindi, hindi, hindi every time we get to see a Planeswalker in one of these uh, sealed products like this. Ayon. Secondly, there are a lot... Uh, thirdly, there are a lot of reprinted... or There are a lot of new cards here that are really, really powerful. Like, uh, for example, Kappa Cannon here, no? Imagine nyo, this is this is a very uh, a very strong card. Lalo na pag lumapag to. It's very hard to deal with. The Swift Reconfiguration also is one of the in-demand cards here. So, I guess this will fit in every in any product that you or in any deck that you will be be brewing uh, later on which has the color white. So, what kind of upgrades are we expecting here so ang nakikita ko dito you can upgrade this papasensya na yung dog ko and yung cat ko kasi yung cat ko horny 
yung dog may anxiety problem. <laughs> But they're okay. Don't worry about that. How do we upgrade this? One, you can go full control. If you remember the the, the tempo control setup of Dragon Dragon Lord Ojutai, you can actually use the same concept here. If you are going to use Shorikai Genesis Engine. So, so all you need to do is swap out Dragon Lord Ojutai, swap in Shorikai, and then you're good to go. No? Shorikai is going to is, uh, is going to help you filter out your deck with the uh, The, the pay one tap, draw two cards, and then discard a card. And uh, it's going to help you go through the deck much faster and pick all the things that you need uh, for this deck to be uh, for this deck to be competitive in any in any mode. So that's one. Second is you keep it as is and use the uh, the vehicle concept of the deck. All you need to do is just upgrade the the mana base. Siguro, you can put their Nimbus Nimbus Maze or Tan, Tundra or Hollow Fountain, Celestial Colonnade, and it will be great. Yun. So basically, yun lang yung kanya. Yun lang yung yung up, upgrades niyan. Overall, I think this is a really, really nice deck to play. I have seen this deck in action in some of the YouTube videos of streamers out there. And I, I really saw that Kotori and Shorikai are really, really very good commanders when it comes to, to you know, uh, hitting it all out with other, with other decks. <clears throat> so lastly, uh, what are my parting words for this deck? My parting words are uh, same as with what I said yesterday with unleashed with with the unleashed deck. Habang cheap ito, while this deck is cheap, I suggest you buy it. This deck has great value. As you can see, the 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 cards here are really really have really great value in them. This deck has full potential when it comes to being competitive. All you need to do is do a, a few upgrades and then it will be really, really competitive. And if you want to keep it, fine. That's okay. Uh, nakikita ko dito, it, it will go, it will rise up in value in a few, in a few, in a few years time, I guess. So if you want to keep it, that's also a good idea. It could be a good investment later on. Otherwise, if you don't, Just go ahead and play, buy it, play it, bring it in the uh, shop, and uh, look for people to play test it and uh, enjoy your deck. Okay, so that's it for me. So, Papi here, doing a review of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Commander Buckle Up. I hope you enjoy, you enjoy the video, and I hope that uh, we have given you clarity regarding this product and the other commander products as well. Thank you and have a great day ahead.